Tava kufamba tiri jaka panyama Tisi na anati kesa munyama Chatiri na apwa mkurarama Kusazi wana sakache na munana Njema, njema Njema Tino wana sata kasongu nuka Tichitu ya tina shino tishupa Kupata na kwenyama ni mafupa Asimwe ya kasuduruka Tava kufamba tiri jaka panyama Tisi na anati kesa munyama Chatiri na apwa mkurarama Kusazi wana sakache na munana Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Zaka mbotanga, zaka kakanyama Iko shino, zoka katapungwa Mugu kuranda, iko temu nyama Zondiru wata pandino sifunga Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Ndari sifunga kutizwa ni masungwa Divo vari muji zarira Kusasiva kuti hobo masungwa Vari panze vari muji farira Vachipika mutongo vari panze Kusungwa kwe fungwa hati zivanze Toba tachipi chingati nyaraze Hanzi kufunga kwe dunga kuti paraze Chirara mocho fundwa pazu viti viti Tane ruvengo takungo wisa na sama jiti Aka ende pima funga na tayu wane sana Chirara mone mitambo ya jiti Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Zaka mbotanga, zaka kakanyama Niko shino, zaka katapungwa Mungu kuranda, ingo temu nyama Zondiru wata pandino sifunga Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Njema, njema Zatino shuwira kuita na moyo Zese shino nofira mpungwa Mpungwa mune honda sepa chimoyo Dimbo mune chigaro che usungwa Chekati rera tachita nangira Alright, good evening As you have seen, Mr. Shimono was granted bail this afternoon By the High Court So we had just come to make sure that he is He's out of well with the Pasapuras uh, good evening and thank you very much um, for coming to meet me on my way out of uh, Chikurubi prison where I was incarcerated for the last 19 days. I was arrested uh, for my house on the 8th of uh, January by the police for something that I didn't do. They lied in court that I had tweeted that a child had been killed by the Zimbabwe police. I never tweeted that and there's no evidence of that tweet because it was never tweeted and uh, I was uh, charged using a law that does not exist. Uh, this is not expected in a democracy, in a constitutional democracy, because the law that was used to charge myself, Fadzai Mahere, and Job Skala does not exist. It was scrapped from the statutes in uh, 2014. So that's my story so far. Uh, in the past 80, I think in the past six months, I've spent 80 days behind that filth prison. Uh, on trumped up charges simply because I'm talking about corruption simply because I'm making citizens understand the impact of corruption and how it's related to their suffering, to the failure by the government to put uh, drugs in, in, in hospitals, to the failure to fix roads, to the failure to deliver water into people's homes I don't know if there's any questions Do you think you can continue with the government I'm a journalist, my job is to do journalism and, and, and I'll continue doing journalism. I haven't broken any laws of this country. Um, I mean, it's even pathetic that the government took me to court on a lie that I had done something that I didn't do. It's even pathetic that the same government used a law that does not exist. It means that they are persecuting me. It's political persecution, as I've been saying from day one when I was first arrested on the 20th of July. Yes, uh, you have freedom to speak, but you are not free after you have spoken. But what motivated you to keep writing um, not from behind Chikurubi when your, hair, your life was in the hands of the same people that you were It's because everything that I've said and everything that I've written is constitutional. It's guaranteed under our constitution. 
we have freedom of expression that guarantees us freedom uh, of speech, freedom of the, uh, of the press, and the freedom to protest. And you can protest through writing notes, and that's, that is what I was doing. It's guaranteed in the Constitution. I think we need to do everything that is legal. Uh, as journalists, we need to do our work. Wherever we find corruption in government, in private sector, in municipal councils, we need to expose corruption. We should not be afraid uh, of exposing corruption because corruption kills. I said this in May last year, that the looting of public funds meant for COVID-19 were going to result in mass deaths. And that's what we're seeing today. People are dying because you do not have sanitizers, you do not have uh, masks at, 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 uh, in townships. Where I'm coming behind me at Chikurubi prison, prisoners do not have masks. They do not have soap to wash their hands. They do not have toilet paper. And these are the direct consequences of the looting of public funds, the plan of the nation's natural resources, and general corruption in the state. Tell us how have you been treated over the past uh, 18 days or 20 days that you've been how how are you handled they make life difficult for you they try and in, in, in instill a lot of pain uh, by denying you things that are guaranteed to you by the constitution by denying you decent food by denying you hot water which was actually in a court order when i was sent to chikurubi written by the magistrate but they denied me all those things and uh, they expose you to covid they expose you to places where you can't even sanitize your hands. When you go to court, they put you into cages where, which have not been uh, sanitized. So that, that's, that's the story whilst I was in there for the past 19 days. So, so, some, some people, while you are in on social media, they say that when you get arrested, you are arrested by yourself and you don't have that much support from people. Do you speak because of the support? No, I, I, I don't speak because of what uh, people say or whether they support me or not. I speak because it is the right thing to do. And that's what every citizen should do. We cannot afford to see elderly women in townships drinking dirty water and dying from cholera. We cannot afford to keep quiet whilst elderly women, men and children in rural areas dying because they do not have access to antibiotics. It's just wrong. You don't need to be motivated by people to do the right thing. You just need to do the right thing. But are you not afraid? Are you not fearful for your life? I'm not, I'm not afraid. I'm on the right track. I'm not afraid even of dying because I'm doing the right thing. Once we become afraid, we allow corruption, we allow looting, we allow plunder to, to carry on. And that is why this country is where it is today. Is because people are afraid and shy to say the truth. Whilst what's being done is killing our very own people. Today, we are, uh, uh, um, Zimbabweans are dying in huge numbers from COVID-19. Some of them could have been saved if they had sanitizers. Some of them could have been saved if they had masks. But that money was looted, and we know who looted it. And we exposed them, and we put the evidence on the table. But we were, I was persecuted for that. Do, do you think that the people who surround you, who love you, are not affected by this? where you're constantly arrested and you are away from them. Those struggles are, 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 are done by people. And of course, people get affected by it, but that's the nature of life. If we stopped to do the right thing because people around us worry about what might happen to us, then we allow the bad guys to carry on doing the bad things. In the 18 days you're incarcerated, what did you miss? Um, I missed my liberty. That's the only thing that I missed. I missed my liberty because I was in there illegally. I was not supposed to be in there. I was detained illegally using a law that does not exist and accused uh, 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 for something that I did not say or on Twitter. And everybody knows that. That's the fact. What is the way forward now for you? I'm just going home and continue with my work. We are seeing your presence on Twitter and continue stuff that you're doing? My normal life continues unabated. Nothing stops me from doing anything. The court, uh, the bail conditions don't stop me from tweeting. They don't stop me. In fact, the judge said that uh, tweeting is not a crime. It's what you say that is a crime. And in this case, I was arrested 
for having said something that I never said on Twitter. That's the tragedy. And maybe just, um, just, just finally, any words to the people that um, pushed the hashtag free hope will, uh, the people that have been talking about you and making sure that you're not forgotten while least you were in incarceration. Yeah, I would like to thank all Zimbabwean citizens, Africans across the continent and beyond global citizens who stood with me during my third incarceration and who kept my name alive in the public consciousness, making sure that people know um, of, of the persecution that is taking place, not only to me, but to people like Job Sikala, to people like uh, Fadzai Maheri. I'd like to thank them, and I'd like to thank the global media um, for, for, for keeping my story alive, and specifically the Zimbabwean media that has done a, 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 a fantastic job in keeping the story alive. It is not about me. The arrest, the arrest, the illegal arrest of Hopol Mkusha, Hopol Shingono, Fadzai Mahere, Fadzai Saudombe, anyone else, those arrests have a consequence on everybody in this country. Today it is me, today it will be you. That's my message. Thank you very much. Just, just last one. Uh, corruption is the cancer that is affected uh, a number of African countries, including Zimbabwe. How best do you think African leaders can deal with this? Well, we just need to implement our constitutions. We have the rules and laws that are sufficient to to make sure that corruption does not take place, but they are not implemented. In fact, we end up creating rules that do not exist, like what happened in my case, where the Zimbabwean government used a law that does not exist to persecute those who are fighting against corruption. Corruption is a cancer that literally kills people. People die all the time. Zimbabwe loses 100 million US dollars worth of gold every month. Yet the central hospitals in Zimbabwe only need 50 million US dollars to function the whole year. Which means what is being looted through gold alone every month is sufficient to run a hospital budget for the five central hospitals in Zimbabwe for two years. That's how terrible corruption is. It kills people. Uh, do you think chronic creditors in Zimbabwe are safe uh, in Zimbabwe? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Do you think chronic creditors are safe in Zimbabwe? Chronic what? Chronic creditors. Uh, chronic creditors are under attack. Um, and it's not just newsmen like myself or documentary filmmakers like myself. You saw it with Gonyet. Uh, um, she was abducted. She's a comedian. She's a content creator. Yet she was abducted for uh, the satire that she put out there to make us laugh at ourselves. So we, the, nobody is, is safe. That's why I keep saying every time when I come out of this field to prison that it is not about Hope World Chingono. My arrests have a consequence on everybody who's practicing journalism in this country, everybody who is a content creator in this country. Because once you say what they don't like, regardless of its legality or truthfulness, they will arrest you. And that is what's happening to me. It's pure persecution where this time they were not even embarrassed to go and lie in court that I tweeted about something that I never tweeted about. There is no evidence of such a tweet because I had never tweeted that. Where they went and picked a law that does not exist, it was scraped from our statutes in, in 2014. It's not there on the penal code, but it was used and I spent 18, 19 days in prison for something that I never said using a law that does not exist. If that's not dictatorship, I don't know what it is. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you.